embarking on a journey through the annals of time, we are beckoned into a world vastly different from our own, a prehistoric Earth, home to creatures of such size and majesty that they eclipse the largest animals known to us today. From the dense, lush forests of ancient Asia to the vast, open grasslands of the Americas, this world was inhabited by beings that defy our understanding of life's limits. As we peel back the layers of time, unearthing fossils that serve as portals to an age long gone, we are left to marvel at the giants that once roamed our planet. But just how immense were these creatures? And what tales do their fossilized remains tell us about the world they lived in? In the heart of dense canopy forests that once covered parts of China, Southeast Asia, and India, lurked a creature of extraordinary size, Gigantopithecus black eye, the largest primate to ever walk the earth, stood at a staggering nine to 10 feet tall when upright, its diet likely consisting of bamboo and various fruits. However, with the disappearance of its habitat, so too did Gigantopithecus vanish, leaving behind only jaw bones and teeth as evidence of its existence. But this giant primate was not alone in its enormity. Venturing further into the ancient landscapes of the Americas, we encounter Megatherium, the giant sloth, towering at up to 20 feet when on its hind legs and equipped with enormous claws. This behemoth was a master of both the arboreal and terrestrial realms, yet it is the enigmatic purpose of the vast tunnels it dug, extending hundreds of feet and bearing the marks of its claws, that adds an aura of mystery to its legacy. Not far from where Megatherium left its mark, Glyptodon, an armored titan resembling prehistoric armadillo, roamed. With a shell encasing its body and formidable claws for foraging, Glyptodon represented a unique blend of defense and utility. However, its existence, like many others, was cut short by a changing world, leaving us to ponder the impact of these creatures on their ecosystems and the eventual causes of their demise. The Pleistocene epoch was a time of stark contrast, home to both the colossal and the cunning. Arctotherium, the giant short-faced bear, stood as a testament to the predatory prowess of the age. Dominating the food chain, this bear was an apex predator, its size and strength allowing it to hunt large mammals with ease. Yet it too would succumb to the inexorable march of extinction, leaving behind bones that speak to its once feared presence. Amidst the giants, the steppe mammoth carved out its niche. With tusks over 13 feet long and weighing up to 12 tons, this mammoth was a marvel of the mammoth lineage. Adapted to the cold, open grasslands where it roamed, it played a crucial role in its ecosystem, influencing vegetation patterns and the biodiversity of its habitat. However, like its colossal counterparts, the steppe mammoth faced extinction, a fate shared by the mighty Andricotherium. This behemoth, resembling a rhinoceros sans horn, towered at an incredible 16 to 18 feet at the shoulder, its size an adaptation to a life spent browsing the high branches of its forest at home. As we traverse the landscapes of prehistoric Earth, we are confronted with the enigma of extinction. These creatures, once rulers of their domains, were ultimately dethroned by a combination of climate change habitat loss, and in some cases, human activity. The disappearance of these titans from the Earth's tapestry has left an indelible mark on our planet's biological history, raising questions about the fragility of life and the forces that shape the survival of species. Among these vanished giants, the mystery of Parasitus colossus looms large. This ancient sperm whale, rivaling the size of modern sperm whales, once dominated the oceans with its formidable size and predatory might. Yet, like so many before and after, Parasitus Colossus faded into the depths of history, its extinction a poignant reminder of the transient nature of life on Earth. As we delve deeper into the stories of these prehistoric behemoths, we are reminded of the ever-changing landscape of our planet in the ongoing dance of evolution and extinction. What lessons can we learn from these giants of the past and how can their stories inform our understanding of the natural world today?